Good morning, friends. It's me, Pastor Scott, with another daily word of encouragement for today, Monday, September 28th. Today's word comes from Isaiah chapter 41, verses 8 through 10. Hear the word of God this morning. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, who I have chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth. From its farthest corners, I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is speaking in this passage to the fears of the nation of Israel. And those fears are twofold. The first fear is found in verse 9. And the fear is that God will reject or abandon his people because of their sin. And God says he's not going to reject them. He's not going to abandon them. He is with them and he is their God. He's the same God who's been faithful and with his people in the past. He was with Abraham. He's with Jacob and he's with the people of God right then and there, and he's with us today as that same faithful God. So the first fear that God speaks to is that they're not going to be rejected. The second fear is found in verses 11 through 13, and the fear is that the the nation of Israel would be taken into captivity, that a foreign invading army would come in and sweep them up and take them away into a foreign land. And God says, you don't need to be afraid of that. I'm with you. And I am upholding you with my righteous right hand. That is an image, that right hand of God's strength and God's power. It's that power that upholds us and strengthens us in this day, in every day of our lives. So God speaks to the fears of Israel in this passage, and he speaks to the fears in our lives today. There are a number of things that we can choose to be fearful of. We can fear that God's going to reject us, but he has forgiven us of our sins, past, present, and future. We only need ask for forgiveness. We also don't need to be afraid of the things going on around us, all the calamity and the noise in the world, because God has been faithful to his people in the past. He'll be faithful to us in the present, and he'll be faithful to us in the future. So God reminds him, I'm with you. I am your God. I'm not going to leave you or abandon you. But then he says this, he speaks to the fears by promising them that he will help the people of God, that he will strengthen the people of God. And again, that he will uphold them with this righteous right hand. Friends, whatever you're going through today, God speaks to our fears by reminding us of who he is. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.